Hey guys, a couple of new items I'm trying out here. This is the uh, 24 inch um, gear ties by Night Eyes. And they're working pretty good. Um, I've got a bunch of these in different sizes now. I've got about eight of these because this is what I'm doing with them. Two tarps and two of these things. Poncho, poncho liner. Mm, can you see the poncho liner there? Yeah, I guess you can see the poncho liner. Anyway, and that's all you do to them. These things are great. I'm loving these things. Um, no buckles, no straps, no ropes, no nothing. Just wrap it around this thing, twist it up like a bread tie, lay it down flat, and uh, you've got your equipment, whatever you might have there. Uh, like I say, I've got two, I've got these things 24 inch on two tarps, and then uh, two of these things are my bed rolls. These are basically my sleeping bags. Um, so that's making them in different sizes. It's Night Eyes gear, gear tie. This is a 24 inch pack. These things are come kind of, are working out really good. Highly recommend them. Yeah, you can use them for just about anything. Organization with a twist up there. See if I can carefully camera focus there. Okay, it's not going to focus. Rubber shell provides excellent grip. Strong wire inside holds its shape. Use indoors and outdoors in any weather. Let me zoom back out a little bit. You can see some. There, maybe that'll help. Now let me try zooming in. That reflection from my light. Uh, okay, that's all different languages, so never mind. Come back down this way, hold it at an angle so it's not reflecting. I mean, there's just some ideas. You know, they work great so far. I haven't uh, had any problems with them. Um, I've been perfectly happy with them. I don't know how long they'll last. They're fairly new. new. NightEyes.com has got a bunch of cool stuff. NightEyes, NightEyes.com. A bunch of cool stuff. Company out of uh, Boulder, Colorado. Oh. <clears throat> All right, next product I'm using. <clears throat> Let me get rid of this thing off my computer desk here real quick. Give me just a little bit more room. The big 150 pound uh, test or whatever, figure nine rope tighteners with a carabiner. I got a bunch of these things too. Um, I think they're great. A whole lot better than having to tie knots. Especially if you don't know how to tie knots. I only know a few. So this is <laughs> this works good for me. But I'm trying to get that. It's not going to come out too good, I don't think, in the video. But you get the idea there. These come with 10 foot of cord. A 6 millimeter cord, it looks like. Included in the package. They cost me $9.99 for the package. A little bit better diagram here. Night Eyes has got this exact same diagram in a PDF document on their website too. So, um, But that's pretty much uh, a basic idea of what you can do with these things. We're trying not to zoom in too fast. Ah, oh, the camera's not going to focus. Let me see if I can just get the thing closer to the lens. Might be easier. But you kind of get an idea there what you can do with these things. So a whole lot easier than a knot. Um, that's what the kit looks like that I got. The thing is big, but it's aluminum, guy. Aircraft aluminum, heavy aircraft aluminum. It's not heavy at all. Um, it's made out of heavy aircraft aluminum, um, a lot like flashlights and things like that are. But it's not. It's not uh, very heavy, weight-wise. 
Now you got nice rope there, 10 feet of rope to go with it. Got a carabiner on a one end. And then you've got, where to go? You've got the slide. All right, I'll get it figured out here in a minute. On this cor on this end, you've got a, uh, a smooth surface for the rope to slide on, so you can cinch it down. And so tying knots, you wrap it a couple of times around here. Like you see, I've got that wrapped right there. And then you wrap it up underneath, and the other side has got teeth in it. Hopefully you can see that on the video. It's got teeth in it. Uh, on one side and it holds a rope so you know you can use this tie down use it uh, for just about anything I mean I'm going to use it for tarp line and uh, uh, taunt lines uh, you know for tents and and uh, uh, tarp line the yeah, ridge line what I'm trying to think of so you know it's big but it's not heavy not at all so, I think I bought like four or five of these things. Now, one thing I want to tell you uh, that did buy is the knot bones. I would not bother with the knot bones. I wouldn't bother with the, uh, if I found my receipt, I'd take them back to uh, my Gander Mountain. Um, there's, they've also got another kit of real small um, figure nines. And... I had one of them break on me this last weekend when I went out, uh, tying up a, a uh, ridge line for tarp. So I uh, I definitely would not would not would not suggest those. They only hold about I don't know 25 pounds maybe if that. Um, they're not very strong at all. So um, you don't really want uh, want to mess with them. the kit. Comes with a uh, all right, the, the package says it's a tent kit for tent lines and stuff like that. That's what the package says it's for. So I wouldn't I wouldn't bother with it. Okay, guys, I found a broke one. That's how small they are. They're not very big. This is the uh, tent kit or something like that on the package about a tent kit. They come in four, and you get lines with them and, and stuff like that. Um, you get some small cordage with them, but that's one I broke. It's supposed to have Hopefully you can see the teeth on it. I'm trying to get it angled right to the light. There you go Now you can see the teeth on it And you can see where it broke right down here where my band-aid is at This V on this one is what broke off this. Now Night Eyes is covering this. They're sending me, I'm hoping, another one of these. I'm not sure. I bought four of these at Gander Mountain. Um, so hopefully I'm getting another one of these. I don't know. They may be they, they make them one size smaller than this, but they're only good up to 50 pounds. So um, this one's good up to 150. So it should be plenty strong enough for anything I want to do with it, with a tent or a tarp, hammock, tarp or something like that, you know, um, should be plenty big enough. So, the other thing I wanted to, I wanted to go over. Let me see my skin. I wanted to uh, review real quick is a Night Eyes headband. I've been using one of these things for. Years. Hey guys, I'm back. Battery went dead. In my phones. I'm my uh, camera. I'm not using my phone this time. Anyway. So back to the Night Eyes head strap here. Night Eyes head strap, it'll work with any light. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna show you two of them I use with it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, headlamps. For the simple reason, they're usually not very bright. Um, they're kind of lame with their light. And if I'm out in the woods, I wanna be able to light up the night. Um, I don't want some, you know, rinky-dink light that, uh, doesn't put out enough light to light up an area so but night eyes head strap it's good for any kind of light um, you can fit 
just about anything in it. Let me angle this again so that light above me there doesn't uh, reflect off the back of this card. So, you know, you can use it with mag lights, you can use it with, uh, well, just about any kind of light. There's a picture on the back of the thing with a mini mag light uh, in the loop, but I don't use those things either because they don't put out enough light. So, you know, pretty much they come in red and black. I, of course, prefer the black. That's all I've got. I don't know. I've got about five or six of these things now with uh, with this this one, my last order from Night Eyes. They're just too handy, you know. Uh, just just way too handy to have. So my last trip this last weekend, videos you just watched, my three lights used were my Stinger, because we were base camping or car camping. This is the older Stinger. I'm a big fan of Streamlight. Um, this doesn't have the C4 bulb in it, but it still puts out plenty of light. So, you know, it's rechargeable. I didn't have my charger with me. I forgot to take it. But no big deal, because I had backup, battery operated backup. <clears throat> this is a flashlight that I use and that head strap sometimes. A Streamlight Protac 2AA. It works on 2AA batteries. Uh, it's got, uh, let me see, three, four settings, strobe, high, medium, and low. Uh, high is about 120 lumens and low I think it's 10 and there's a medium in there somewhere it's got a nice clip on it lockout tail cap it's a tactical light our personal tactical light whatever you however you want to say that it's got the uh, cutouts up here on the front and back here on the tail cap and like I say it's got the lockout tail cap so it won't turn on uh, unless you turn that tail cap down. I like wrist lanyard. Sometimes I could put this on a neck lanyard and uh, a lot of times if I need hands free I'll put this on that head strap you just saw. The simple reason I've got a brighter better light than those anemic headlights are. Uh, headlamps whatever you want to call them. My newest addition I also used kind of playing around with it. The Streamlight Sidewinder this is a sportsman's model. Um, it, I don't know, but I think IR will show blood. So unless you're a hunter, you might want a sportsman's model. It's one of these little lights over here. Is uh, one of these little lights here at the end of the pin is uh, an IR light, but. With this sportsman's model, one's green, one's red, and one's blue, and I don't know how what order they are in or anything like that. And this thing only puts out 55 lumens on high. Whoop, on high. But what I like about this is it's generally brighter than a lot of your uh, headlamps, and each light, each bulb has four settings, including strobe. So it's kind of nice because you can use uh, the bright white light. It shines pretty far, um, you know, 25, 30 feet. <clears throat> um, it's not concentrated, concentrated beam like this one is, or like the Streamlight Stinger is. It's more of a flood close-up light. Um, and each, each, like I say, each bulb has got uh, three or four settings, including strobe. So it's pretty nice. It runs on two AA batteries, so it's cheap to, to, to run. It'll go night, it'll go 180 degrees that way. So you can kind of use it as an angle light if you want. It'll go back, flip around the other way. Now you see I got it the other way because there's a clip. That clip will go on to the head strap or a belt or a pack strap or anything else. It's a heavy duty, strong clip. These things are really nice lights. I really like it. Uh, I'm glad I put the money into it. Um, you know, because it'll be, uh, it'll definitely be handy to have this light uh, occasionally instead of one of the other lights. Um, not as bright, but 
that's where the battery goes two, two AA batteries so it's not expensive to run there's your switch you rotate the switch around you rotate this thing I can't do it with one hand but you rotate this thing around and it changes the uh, this outer outer part here and it changes the bulb and then to change the intensity of the light you push and hold and to hit strobe you double click it real quick real fast so but that that outside ring there pulls out and then you turn it one 90 degrees it'll go 180 degrees uh, 360 degrees I'm sorry so you turn it 90 degrees for each bulb um, so it's a nice light I highly recommend it I highly recommend it it's an expensive little light but you know what it's worth it I think all right well there's gonna be another video as soon as I can get it up on YouTube uh, I'm using my camera this time I'll try and use my computer that's only halfway works half the time to load this video so are these these clips but uh, if it doesn't work, I'll have to retake these videos with my phone and uh, redo them and upload them from my phone on my Wi-Fi router. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.